Alright, Simon. Let's get out of here. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after this scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time, working in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, you know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole. You know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't what burn the friend. place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. All right. Is this it? Looks like it. All right, here we go. Hello? Dr. Munchie? Where is everyone? We're in Canada. This place would be okay, busy. Okay, we're in Canada. Our name is Simon. This is our fellow friend here. This looks like crap. This looks like what we just left behind us at home, but okay. This is the place, right? It must be. Biometrics. Okay, here we go. Here's our guy. Let's just call Machi real quick. Great. Got his phone turned off. <laughs> what the hell is this? It's okay. I can figure this out. Okay. Now we're gonna crack the code, okay. One, three, three, seven. Oh god, okay. Uh, one, 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 one. Oh boy. Oh, here we got something. Okay, time to hack his laptop, okay. <laughs> Scan now. Paul, where are you? Uh, from David Munchie. We've got a few hours. I got a hold of Simon Jared. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Okay. Uh, I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change, so I called security, talked to a Professor Way to have him vouch for our project, and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department. Blah 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 blah. Yada yada yada. Okay. Uh, I'll leave a note or something. So okay, we're uh, talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I have managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run models and also if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. Okay. Seems like everything is pretty, like, temporary. They're, they're having some issues with setting this up correctly, seems. Here yeah, then, trial and error. Put your scalpel away, the brain can heal itself. The brain has an amazing transformative quality, a plasticity, that allows it to compensate and even heal itself, explains Paul Berg, a graduate student in neuro neuroscience at York University in Toronto. It is this quality that Berg and his colleague David Munshi, a student of computer science, are hoping to encourage. It's about getting the brain to do the right thing. And we hope to accomplish this with simple things like exercise, therapy, and light medication. But Munshi and Berg are not looking for a miraculous panacea. It's about finding the optimal treatment for each patient. They start out recording something called Nakajima Neurograph. And it's like a picture that indicates direction, says Munshi. Instead of a static brain scan, the neurograph can tell us where your brain is going. Okay. Well, can I pick this up? Okay, nothing to worry about. Let's see what we got here then. Oh, goodness.
There we go, 2501. <laughs> wow, okay. Boom! Here we go. Okay, so now we're supposed to run. This is not... Looking too good, is it? Probably have to adjust the graphics. Right, let's see if that fixes it. James Garrett. Okay. Seems to be Steve all day. Okay. Hello. Oh wow, this looks like some Matrix crap. Okay, something is going on here for sure, and they have <laughs> syringe and everything. Okay, this looks this looks interesting. Okay, uh, I cannot distinguish anything important here. Just some brain scans or something. Oh, you can actually light this up. Okay, the nervous system. Okay, so far. I think uh, why do I get this feeling that this this looks really sketchy? I don't know why, but it feels like something is gonna happen. But perhaps that's why I'm playing this game. I want stuff to happen. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Oh boy, here we have someone. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah, it's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes, yes I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Okay, let's hope for the best. Oh boy. All right, let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Canada, Munchie, born 1988, July 16th. Right. Black neurograph, cruising. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That's so. Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. 